Okay, I was going to try to do a small video here of a screen uh, a running through a log or playing the log on the mission planner. And this was a mission I ran yesterday. It's about two kilometers. So let me just start it. Um, right here, I'm already uh, in the air and I'm testing the uh, return to launch, which I always do before. I go out. Um, this is running at two, almost three times. To RDL. This is running about three times the uh, normal time speed, and um, we'll see how choppy it is. But um, right now, you can see the uh, plane circling pretty tightly. There, it's at 800 feet. That's my return to launch altitude because that's the highest altitude that I'm flying at on this mission and no change to manual okay. no change to stay alive no change to auto now we're switching no into to FBW8 no change to auto no change to stay alive yeah. no change to auto okay that's kind of annoying but uh a bunch of things there I was just flipping switches around uh finally you know getting it into auto and um, now we're off going across this field and I think uh, it looks like 800 is the altitude I was going for there and then I think we dropped down to 700 or 600 maybe 500 across this valley um, it's kind of hard to get perspective but uh, like I say at the furthest point out you'll see uh, Let's just try to get some better gauges on here. At the furthest point out, you'll see we are um, two kilometers. So if you see number three, three and four waypoints up there. Now here I circle a little bit. There's a house right in front of number two. Here the road there um, of a friend of mine. So I planned, planned it in to do two loitering turns here and again we're at uh, about 800 you can see how um, correctly that it follows the path there's very little wind that day if you look up in the corner of the screen uh, if you see up my arrow up here it's wind velocity is four five wind direction so you can tell there wasn't much wind and that helped it of course uh, fly pretty good this is a Skywalker 168 um, centimeter wingspan and I've got it loaded down with GoPro uh, it's just so heavy We were coming back and I dropped the altitude down there some to 500. Uh, I think it went to 5 and then up to 6. I'm not sure where 7. Where uh, I can't remember the 7. So I guess we're staying at 5, it looks like. And you can see the home there. Actually, home is not exactly there. Um, the home um, is actually no right change. where it's headed, right there. And I pulled a, I pulled it off there and just uh, went back to switch it out of auto. And then I switched it back into auto. No change to auto. To make sure that it would, uh, it would finally do its turn, return to launch because I forgot that it was at 800. It was coming in at like 500, so I was making it climb no up to 800. To in any case, it did that, and um, I think that's all I wanted to show, uh, just to give you an idea of the, you know, what that looks like if you haven't seen it.